How's everybody doing? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. This should have been one of my first videos to show everybody. Backup files. Uh, we've had numerous occasions where AccuBit crashes, the files are corrupt, everybody thought they lost all their their work for hours and on end I mean there, there was countless times this just just happened and it's not the case these files are actually being backed up I believe in a minimum of I, 10 minutes or so and I'm, I'm gonna show you the locations of each of the files and and how you can change this different settings you can do to back up these files so let's jump right in it okay first off let's hit settings options and then you want to click this auto save and backup now here's here's the kicker when you first get AccuBid you, you're never gonna know they even touch this this is actually uh, by default it's saved under save backup file under user profile so what this means is in Windows if this is your machine or if it's a, if a company machine and the company distributes computers to you know 50 employees each computer is gonna have a user profile which is gonna be your name and your backup files are not stored on your company's server they are locally saved on your machine and this is where even the IT people did not know this because it doesn't even tell you this here so I'm gonna show you exactly where these are stored if you never configured this to save backup files on on your machine okay let's go to all right so first I'm going to show you what I have and it should be similar so you should have a local C drive and you want to double click this and to in order to proceed any further you will have to have Windows let um, Windows needs to show you file name extensions and hidden items um, I, I don't know why this is like that maybe because they don't want you messing with internal data and messing with extensions programs don't stop working and you know, etc etc so once you're in this screen you hit your C drive you're gonna wanna hit view and then check these two buttons uh, reason behind this is because you need to get to uh, users and then default so default is if you had your own machine and you didn't ever called your machine anything mine is called by default it's default if it's assigned by a company your computer it's gonna be your first name last name initials or however they wanna name it you wanna double click default and then hit app data and you can see how this is you know kinda of faded and that's because it's a it's a hidden item so you can't get into this so you'll never even know this was here double click app data you want to hit roaming and then AccuBid and then whatever your version of AccuBid is it could be Pro 14, 15, uh, 13 however far you want to go back and there should be a folder called backups and then your backups will be located in there um, in this case I have changed mine to this location so we'll navigate to this one. I'll show you what those backup files look like. So we'll go back to C drive and it's uh, program data, program data. And you can see that it's still hidden, a, a hidden file. And then it's AccuBid, job data. And then here I named it my name and then there's AccuBid backup files so they'll be called dot b a k b a c k u up uh <laughs> u up up backup files 
Um, you can do it two different ways. If you want to recover um, a backup, there's recovery files and there's also backup files. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. So I'll show you one. You can, let's say, this one right here is a file that we saved and it was only like five minutes ago so that'll work so we can hit copy um, let's go into our bits folder and then what we'll do is we'll save it you know right here so when you click file name extensions you're able to taint change the extension of the file so if you soft click this that'll come up or you can hit uh, right click and hit rename and then you see how it says ES15 that's the actual extension for Acubit estimating pro 15 files so if I uncheck this like this if you change the file extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? You hit yes. So now it's a recognized file. So you can copy and then put this back into your uh, Acubit files and then delete the old one, open it up, and then you're ready to go. Uh, let's jump back into our Acubit. So after you have this set up, I would recommend creating an automatic recovery file at least every 10 minutes. Um, it's a great tool. You don't have to worry about losing files. You know how to recover them. No excuses. Don't have to go back and take something off after you spend four hours doing it. Once again, Alfred Flores, CEO, President, New Age Electric. Thank you for watching.